Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is the lecture on physical only cells. In this floor planning stage, today we will learn about what are the different type of physical only cells which are presented in the floor plan. Physical only cells are inserted in the pre-place stage that is floor plan stage and that is why they are also called as pre-place cells and they do not have any signal connectivity. So there is no signal connectivity or they do not have any logical function as such. So they will not be part of your netlist when it comes as a synthesized netlist to you. So that synthesized netlist does not have any physical only cells inside it and it will have only power ground connectivity. So it will have only VDD and VSS level connectivity, nothing else. There are different type of physical only cells. First is your tap cell and second is your end cap cell. Apart from this two, there are some other type of cells also which have some special connectivities. So the special type of cell is one is your D cap cell and that is used only in specific cases and another is your pair cell. These are your physical only cells which are inserted in a pre-placement stage. So these are your pre-placement cells. That is the name given to them. Now let us try to understand each of them one by one. So if there are two rows going like this, then end cap will sit like this and it will only sit at the boundary side. When we place the end cap, generally this is your boundary and it will place very close to it. Sometimes even have the abutting or you can say sit adjacent to the edges of the core. So first point about end cap is it sits on the edge of the core and it has edge of core and it has only connectivity of VDD and VSS. It has no other functionality. So it will sit like this and it will ensure that there is no gap between well and implant layer. So it will try to prevent the gap between gap between well and implant layers. So that is the functionality you can say or the purpose of your end cap cell and it sits on the edge of the core that is very important. So sometimes it is also called as boundary cap. Boundary cap is also a name given to this cell. Now let us understand your tap cell functionality. So let us say this is our core and the end caps were sitting on the boundary of the core like this and now the coming of topic of tap cell. So tap cells are also physical only cells but they are helping to avoid the CMOS latch up. So they help avoid the CMOS latch up. That is a phenomena that we will discuss later on in the some upcoming video but right now you can understand that they help in avoiding the CMOS latch up and they how do they do that? So it helps to tie the substrate. So tie of substrate happens in the tap cell and it will be tied such that NVEL is tied to your VDD and VSS levels. So it will prevent the latch up with this kind of connectivity. How do we place the tap cell? So this tap cell, how do we place the tap cell is one question that is asked in the interview. And the answer, common answer is checkboard fashion. Checkboard fashion is the common answer. Now tap cells are always placed periodically. So let us take an example that this is your VDD and then this is your VSS and you are placing a tap cell like this. So after a periodic distance, so let's say some distance is provided based on that distance you will add your tap cell like this and after adding periodically like this, this will be coming as a guideline from the top level or from the previous man previous project or maybe from the foundry side it will be given as a guideline that how much should be the distance. So let us take an example that distance was your 90 micrometer provided to you. What you will do is you will place alternately like this and this distance is actually 180 micrometer. So you are actually placing at a farther distance but if you see this distance is your 90 micrometer. How do we do that is we are placing alternately. So if you see 
this will be VDD and we will reverse it. So the this orientation is let's say 0 degree and here we are placing at 180 degree with respect to Y. So if this is your 0 degree with respect to Y, then this is your 180 degree with respect to Y. That is why the cell is actually flipped, flipped orientation. Because of flipping, what happens is you are able to place cells in a checkboard fashion and you will be placing like this in 90 micrometer and after that again here you will add after 180 micrometer. So if you see you have actually reduced the distance between each two cells. If you see let's say this cell with respect to this cell and this cell again the distance is only 90 micrometer. So you are following the 90 micrometer guideline and also placing them at a 180 micrometer in a single row and that way you are able to reduce you are able to reduce the number of cell and when you are reducing the number of cell you are actually reducing your utilization you are reducing the util not reducing actually you are if making your utilization efficient and because of that what happens is your congestion is reduced why because you are reducing the number of physical only cell so congestion can be managed in a better manner if you place in a checkboard fashion like this now let us try to understand spare cells and your decap cells sometimes you have a big cell placed in the design which have huge size and because of this cell you are facing an ir drop ir drop so because of this what happens is you are seeing a power drop of large value and you need to fix it so one fix to that is placing a decap cell so decap cell is nothing but a decoupling capacitor which will help provide the power if you place it very closely to this cell and tap your power from the decap so what will happen is the power grid which was going over the design of this cell what was happening is because of your large drive strength of this particular cell there was a power drop which will now be uh, which will now be compensated by this kind of cell hence decap cell helps in avoiding the power drop it is essentially a powerhouse in itself which will help reducing the power drop so what happens is if you see logically let's say if it is a buffer there will be that buffer which is going like this so the power to this buffer will now come from a capacitor it is something like this and next is your next cell is your spare cell so spare cell is used when you are doing an ECO and your base is already frozen and you are about to do the base tape out of your design to the foundry or maybe for your uh, verification fixes and everything is so let's say your base is frozen in that case when your base is already frozen you cannot do anything related to the insertion of cell you cannot do cell insertion for fixing any timing violation cell insertion is not allowed when cell insertion is not allowed at that time you have to only do the metal related changes and if you cannot insert a cell and you are not able to fix the timing violation with your metal related changes if you are not able to do that then how will you fix the timing violation one option is to use the spare cell spare cell can be many it is a physical cell which can be manipulated it can be changed the connections of its input and output can be changed and converted to a buffer or inverter or any other kind of cell whatever you want it to be so it is nothing but a cell which can be used during the tape out phase that is all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and give your important feedback in the comment section thank you